Homemaking is about making a home, not about making perfection. I want to remember this quote by Ann Voskamp as I get ready for the day, as I go out and water the gardens in the early hours of the day, as I take care of laundry, as I do the simple tasks and remember it is not something that is going to ever be perfect. It's not something that uh, I can just think will come along and I'll be great at it, but it's something that I aspire towards being better at loving my home and taking care of that and taking care of my family as well. Good morning. We are about to head out for a walk into the park. It is about 8.30. It is supposed to be a scorcher the rest of this week, so we thought we'd get in some of our outdoor, more active activities done. Nadia has been fed and is in the car seat ready to go for our walk, and Nevea is excited to go to the park. I'm at the park here. I think one of our biggest tasks as a homemaker is training our children and training them to take care of the home is something that I think is truly important. Whether you have little girls, little boys, both, I think they need to know how to care for the space you were given and to do it with love. And yes, again, not to be perfect at it, but to know it's something that we do to love our home. That way we can love our family. And little interruptions happen like newborns needing to be held and um, rocked in the carrier as I try to clean. And that just is something I have to realize as a new mom, well, a mom of a toddler and a newborn that I am not always going to be able to do tasks all the time. And I have to spend these moments with my little ones and take care of them because that's truly one of the most important things we can do as homemakers if you are a mom. So just taking care of our children and doing little tasks around the house, cleaning up, getting ready for guests, as you can see I am doing in our little basement space that is a little play area as well as a guest area. And so just making sure that is ready for people when they arrive. And no, again, it's not perfect. I didn't put all the toys away. I probably still have some bugs left on the floor in the basement, but it is something I wanted to make welcoming to my guests so that they felt like they had a space in my home that they could enjoy. Well, it's already lunchtime. Neve is going to have a Thai chicken enchilada. I made this in a cook with me or uh, five week meals that we eat in a week video. So she's gonna have that and some cooked carrots and then I'm gonna have some salad with some leftover pork. And then this, if you like goat cheese from Aldi, this is really good. It just crumbles, put that on there, probably put some balsamic vinegar and call that good. Maybe some cottage cheese too or something, a little more protein. Cucumbers are from the garden, loving the fresh produce. Right after lunch is my oldest daughter's nap time and Nadia is sleeping as well. So I like to do some meal prepping if there is a little bit to do. And we're having roasted veggies with um, deer bologna. It's really good, just on a sheet pan, really simple. So I have some carrots in there. I'm gonna do some cabbage and then fresh beets from the garden. I already have cauliflower cut up and 
what was the other thing I had in with the cauliflower? Peppers. So that'll be a really good variety and um, very wholesome and healthy. Taking care of outdoor spaces too as a homemaker is something I think is important. And again, it's not perfect. Our little front stoop is not perfect at all. It's small, it's just cement, but I still want it to look inviting and welcoming for people when they arrive. breaks and enjoying time with my little ones which includes a little kiddie pool on a hot day and I think that again it has to be a reminder for myself and hopefully for you guys as well to just take those days when you can spend that quality time with your little ones and not feel like you have to always go 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 and get a lot done share those little snacks with your little ones and just make those moments enjoyable have some local Hutterites who come set up every Wednesday to sell at this park some of their fresh produce and I want to see if they have some garlic and maybe some more cucumbers too. Alright, so at the farmer's market I got a zucchini because my squash bugs got mine and then some cucumbers for more pickles because I have quite a few cucumbers. I just want to make sure we have plenty. And then just some fresh green beans because we did eat some fresh ones last night but um, again I want to have extra. And then there was someone who just had a table with some free stuff and I thought this would be really cute on my basket wall, don't you think? So, um, pick that up. Now I gotta get supper put together. A well planned out meal doesn't always have to mean a perfect meal, but I really do like having a meal plan in place and this is just one of those meals that's super simple, a great summer meal that you can just throw everything all together and that's one thing I really enjoy about being a homemaker is, as many of you know, honing in on my cooking skills. And this is one though that I've just had in my back pocket really for a while. So a not perfect, like I said, but it feeds my family and nourishes them with healthy, nutritious food. processes to my homemaking day is usually a tidy and on this day I do a pretty thorough cleaning of my kitchen and so again it's one of those monotonous things that you feel like is never ending because you just do it over and over again like cleaning out the sink it's gonna get dirty in the morning after breakfast or sweeping the floor or cleaning the floor it's gonna get dirty again but it's just one way that we can serve our families, serve our home. And again, like I said, it's not a perfection thing. It is just something we do to make our house a home. 